Okay, now back to that breaking news. An officer stabbed at the Magic City Casino. Now this morning, that officer is still in the hospital. And so is that stabbing suspect as well. Local 10 News reporter Ben Kennedy is live for us outside the casino with these breaking details. Ben, how is the officer doing, first of all? Christy, Eric, that's the good news to share that officer is in stable condition. It looks like he will be all right. I did talk to a witness moments ago who said this man with a knife just acted erratically, was out of control, actually attacked this policeman, tackled him to the ground. It happened right here behind me at the Magic City Casino just before 1 this morning, about uh, five hours ago. It's their staff requested the officer's help to remove a belligerent patron from the poker room who ended up stabbing the officer in the face. The Miami Fraternal Order of Police confirmed the officer then took out his gun and shot the attacker. Both were rushed to Ryder Trauma, where the patron is currently in surgery. Witnesses say this man would just not cooperate and showed no respect to the officer. I saw them, you know, wrestling on the floor, and somewhere along those lines is where he must have pulled out his knife. Um, I heard knife, and shortly thereafter, it must have been as he was stabbing the officer, he, I heard the, the gun chug off. He? The Magic City Casino, you can see several cars are still leaving the parking lot. We believe these could be other witnesses who are here at the time, also some staff. Uh, police are still at the scene. A last check. Witnesses say the officer did act very professionally, tried to get this man to leave peacefully several times, but this guy just would not listen. Again, that officer that got stabbed in the face will be all right and is recovering as I speak. Reporting live in Miami, Ben Kennedy, Local 10 News.